My name is Bala Sabaga and I am a writer. I am originally from Brazil and I went to film school there. Right after I graduated, I got a job as a writer for Cartoon Network's first ever live action show on Latin America, in Latin America. And it was the best. I worked with kids, it was fantastic. And then I ended up going into the non scripted department of, of writing, you know, like writing for talk shows and everything like that. And I realized I wanted to learn how to write for fiction. And I was very, very fortunate to apply to a few, few grad schools in the US, got into USC, and then did two and a half years of grad school there. When I graduated, I went to work at an agency. I worked for WME as an agent's assistant for about a year. And then some things happened, and we'll get into that later. Uh, I ended up being a um, showrunner's assistant on a show called The Hundred. After that, while I was on The 100, I got into the CBS Writers Fellowship Program and learned fantastic uh, tips on how to succeed in the business and everything. And when I graduated from the program, I got staffed on a show called Dynasty. And that was on the CW. I worked there for three years, it was a blast. And after my contract was up, I wanted to explore another show because I think I needed to to learn as much as I could from different from different points of view and I worked on a show called Walker for one season and at the time that I was on Walker I actually sold of a, a pitch to Disney Plus on a feature that I am currently writing so I left Walker to continue to pursue that full time. I have a lot of idols in Brazil but let me think about an American idol. Oh, <laughs> that's a show. But this is my idol in the US. I think currently, right now, my idols are the Kings that created The Good Wife and then The Good Fight and then are currently doing Evil. I think everything that they've done that I've seen, I enjoyed fantastic. I enjoyed a lot. And I wanted, uh, yeah, I want to have uh, the quality of the writing in some point in the future if I, if there's a miracle happening here. Yeah. Honestly, my motivation is trying to prove to people that I'm not a fraud. And I think sometimes I fail at that, but I always try to try to try to actually prove to myself that I can do this. So every day that I that I'm trying to write or every day that I write, I try to prove to myself that I can do it, even if it means I wrote one word or wrote 50 pages. But uh, sources say that my superpower is that I have a forensic eye to structure. I don't know if I agree with that, but I also think my superpower, I think in the US, is that I came from a background that is completely different than most people here. I grew up in Brazil, I grew up in a land of telenovelas and soap operas, so, and those last seven months of constant storytelling and constant twists and turns. And since I grew up watching that, I really, I think I understand what makes a constant change in stories, whatever sim like, as, as simple as they can be or as complicated as they can be. I, 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 am a, I have a very big soap eye to things. The biggest challenge in my career, which is also, I think, my superpower, is the fact that I'm from Brazil, I'm from a different country. So when I came here, I was, always not only fighting to break in, but I was also fighting to stay in the country. And for a while I had my visa not approved to work here, so I had to stay without a job in the US for five months until my visa got approved. And that really, really was a big challenge because I worked very, very hard and diligent to be in a point of my career and there was this other thing that had absolutely nothing to do with how much I worked hard that I have absolutely had absolutely no control of, which was the possibility of staying in and working in the country. That is when I left WME and went to work on the hundred I have those I had those five months of waiting to be allowed to work in the US. So that was a big challenge for me. I would offer the same piece of advice that people offer to me that it really worked, which is 
network sideways, not always vertical. The peers, the, the people that you go to school with, the people that you have your writers room, the, the writers groups with, the assistants that work as assistants with you, they are growing just as much as your career. I think it's important to build your network with people that are in the same level as you and experiencing the same things as you just as much as it is important to network upwards. That is my, that is my advice.